All right, so moving on to section five on high performance simulators, we have question 5.1, which has, what is the result of this circuit when run on the state vector simulator? And we have uh, three qubits each with a Hallamar gate. So before running this in Qiskit, let's go ahead and look at this analytically. So we have question 5.1 and we have three Hallamar gates and we're going to assume here that um, the circuit is initialized in the all zero state. So we have Q0, Q1, Q2, and following Qiskit's convention for this, we have um, Q2, Q1, Q0 equal to 0, 0, 0, which is the same as, you know, the tensoring of, of the, ket, the three ket zero states. And then if we apply three Hallamar gates, one per qubit, right? Um, well, we get plus state tensored with another plus state and then tensored with another plus state. And this is equal in the computational basis to, well, one over root two, zero plus one tensored with and then you know we repeat these two more times so I'm just gonna copy this paste it here paste it one more time right so now if we distribute this uh, we get well 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 that's 1 over 2 root 2 times and then we have 0 0 0 right the state zero 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 and then zero zero and then one right and then if we do this for all uh, combinations well we just get all possible three qubit states so we got zero one zero plus zero one one plus one zero zero plus one zero one plus one one zero plus one 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 right so it's an equal superposition of a three qubit state with um probability amplitude of one over two t root two which is about 0 0.3535 okay so now let's go back here to our jupyter notebook and, and let's go ahead and code this in qiskit so we have from qiskit import quantum circuit and there are many different ways in which we can uh, simulate this. Here we're being asked to use the state vector simulator, which um, if you go to the Qiskit documentation, uh, it shows, out, shows up as a legacy simulator. So it's not really deprecated, um, but it's still available. So, so let's start by, by using this. And the way you would do it is, um, let's also import here the execute uh, function and then air, which is our simulator provider as, as we discussed in previous videos. So let's create our circuit. So we have QC equal quantum circuit. Uh, we have three qubits and we're gonna apply Hallamar gates to um, qubit zero, qubit one, qubit two. Let's go ahead and draw that. We get our circuit here as expected. So the first thing we're gonna do is first define your simulator. So let's call it S simulator for state vector simulator. And uh, from air, we'll do get backend and then here state vector Oops, sorry, state vector simulator. And then we would uh, create a job, which uh, we will get from executing our circuit, QC, which we define above, using the S simulator, state vector simulator as a backend. So backend equal S simulator. Then after that job runs, we need to get the results. So we get result equal to job dot result and then from that result we define our state vector so now let's define here psi equal to result dot 
get state vector of our circuit QC. And then we can, we can just draw that um, to get the, the, the result. So if we run this, we can see here that we have an equal superposition of all possible three qubit states uh, of square root of two over four, which is the same as one over two root two. So um, now up here, uh, the options we were given were in the form of uh, an actual vector, right? Well, in the form of a, of a Python list. Uh, so so uh, here I have defined as my default to, to do the same as, as giving, you know, the, the command uh, draw LaTeX. And, and if you see, this is what, what is plotting out. Uh, but if we wanted to get just, just this array, what we can do here is do text. So if we do here text, we can get out the, the result, which as you can see here, matches, I believe is option one, um, equals a proposition of one over two root two. Uh, this one is given some states with one over root two. Uh, this one has some complex values and this option four is also given some complex values. So, so the answer is, is one. Now, another way to run this without having to use this uh, execute command is by actually just defining, I'm just gonna copy and paste all this, but um, instead of using execute, you can just do s simulator dot run, and you can pass here the quantum circuit. So that's, that's another way in which this can be done. And um, I believe that, that these two are equivalent. It's just a different way of, of doing the, the same thing. Uh, so if, if we do this, um, we can see here that uh, we get the exact same uh, exact same result.